Okay, let's go over, over to uh, gold. All right, so here's our last setup just after 8 o'clock. Let's go over it real quick. Let's go over what we have set up in the chart. So your chart should be set up like this. We have the templates already made for you. Plug and play. To the far left, the large chart is your market profile. Now that is going to create natural support and resistance because it's based upon the order flow coming into the market. These are electronically traded markets. So this is the roadmap of what you're going to look to buy and sell based upon actual volume coming into market. So the most important where you're going to run almost all your trades off of are these big red, big blue, big thick green lines. That's actual volume coming in the market from other algorithms, hedge funds, prop firms, professional amateur traders, banks, etc. The blue line is the most volume that's traded in the session after midnight. So it's going to tell me where natural support and resistance is on trend days. So how you figure out the market can only do two things. It can either chop or trend. That's it. We're either going to be in range or trend. That's what it does every single day. It can only do two things. The best way to see if you're in chop or trend, that's the first thing you're going to look at when you first log in the room, is you look at the Magenta MA. It's the best way to do it. So if you logged in at 7.45 this morning, you're looking at the Magenta MA right there, and you say, hey, am I angled up? Am I angled down? Or am I flat as a pancake across the chart? It's the first order of business, what you want to do. So we're angled down. You can see we're angled down. So we want to sell retracements. That's our bias. So now we can play off these market profile levels. We can sell the red, we can sell the break retest of the blue, or sell the break retest of the green. You got three shots at going short. So if you break below the blue, that's the most volume that's traded in the market. You retest the blue, that is a sell opportunity, and that's where the arrow's fired. Or if you break through the green, which it just did right now, and you retest the low value area, which is the green, the very next sell opportunity. Or if it comes up and tests HVA high value area and hits the red, that's your third opportunity. So you have three shots going short on trend days if you're in a downtrend. There they are. And that's been working for almost 33 years in market profile. Very simple. Those are your three main levels. Big blue, big red, big green, not hard to understand. If you're in a downtrend, break retest blue. Retest red, break retest green. Now the other profiles that are most important is that thin red line and thin green line on profile. If they match up with my volume profile, which is a, those thick lines, it's very important to get confluence. Then I got my little dots there, which is not as important, which is price profile. I just use those for confluence. If it's stacked, if it's a stacked area, meaning if they're all stacked on top of each other, you have major resistance to support. But mainly, you're going to do all your trades off the volume profile, volume and developing. That's where all your trades are going to be developed off of. Now, what happens is, is the charts to my right, so that's support and resistance. It shows me where my trend is. My trend filter is automatically built in. Where's my trend on market profile? It shows the trend on the market you're trading. It shows the roadmap, the support and resistance you need to be trading off of. Now let's go to our right. What are these arrows based off of? These arrows are based upon the area where the market or the sweet spot in the market where it should reverse. These come up at a key level when the market is into a retracement. So these are very important on trend days. I don't look at them as much on chop days when the Magenta MA is flat. I pretty much just trade off market profile then until it breaks out, outside of profile. But on trend days, they're very, very important. Because you typically trend three out of five trading days on any given market, any given week. So you can see we're in a downtrend. Magenta MA is in a downtrend of market profile. So these areas are very important to get in for trend direction. So what we want to do, we got two time frames. I got a five Simranko here. And I got a smaller three Simranko over here. Very important you know the difference. 
the five stem Renko, I got two MAs to help out for trend direction and also for full retracement trading. Not so much support and resistance, although the 110 here acts as one support and resistance, but it's mainly to show you where full retracements are. What I want to see on the five stem, no matter what, is I want to see it come into one of these two levels. I want to see a test here on the longer term MA, or I want to see a test here on the shorter term MA. Now, one of my favorite trades is when it's testing on the shorter term MA, the white MA right here, and the arrow fires with trend. And consequently, at the same time, it's at a full retracement, excuse me, on my magenta MA, which is up here on the magenta. That is one of my favorite trades. Firing on my short term MA, on the five, at the same time, consequently, firing on my longer term MA on the three cents. Now, what you don't want to do is you don't want to take trades with the 3 sim all by itself when you are above the white MA caught in between these markets, I mean in between these levels. You want to look for a full retracement of the 3 sim if you're trading it all by itself or look for blow-off sell-offs like this. This is a sell setup. We get this all the time. An arrow fired here. That is a trade setup. Why? This is a unique setup where I will take a 3 sim trade like this if I'm way away on the 5 sim 20. What does that mean? If I look over here on the 5 sim, I am way away from my 20, but I'm firing an arrow below my 20 over here on my 3 sim. That's called major selling. There's a major seller or sellers in the market or they're trying to mark the market down. You see this all the time with crude oil inventories or when news comes out. On crude oil, we had five back-to-back -back trades and gold, we had seven back-to-back -back trades this week just on this setup like this where you get major selling coming in the market. Okay, so it's a very unique situation where you'll see where normally your normal setup is just look for a arrow to fire on your shorter term MA or longer term MA on 5 sim. You want a full retracement on the 3 sim. If you get a sell signal right on the shorter term MA, and typically it's when it's cranking below or right at market profile. These typically are when it happens below or at market profile, LV and HVA. You'll see a bunch of them. Where you get that catching the wrongly positioned traders right there. Okay, so we use the arrows, in other words, to find overall areas where the market should reverse and for our entry point. Okay, now I just did a video, how to trade the system. Please play that. You'll see what I'm talking about, about these unique situations when these arrows fire. How to trade the system at daytradingthefutures.com. It's a really informative video. Make sure we jump on that and you'll see what I'm talking about. Below is market profile. That's the last ingredient. What we want to do is when the arrow fires, here's where the arrow fired. I'm going to see negative market delta fire then also. Delta is the relationship between the bid and the ask. It's going to tell you if there is order flow going in your direction when the arrows fire. Am I correct on my arrow firing with order flow in that direction? Well, the arrows fired here and here on full retracement, you're at market profile resistance on control point. I want negative market delta. There's my negative market delta. Now I got full alignment. It's called full alignment. Because not only I got resistance at my market profile control point, we break retest the blue. I've got my arrows are firing at two key inflection points on my on my arrows, five and three sim, both agreeing. And consequently, I've got a negative market delta, red. Now with my arrows, I don't need a special number. I don't need a big number. It doesn't have to be a big number anymore. It used to be over 200 on gold and 50 on crude. It doesn't have to be that way because I got my arrows showing me my direction, I mean my area where it should reverse. I just need to turn to close red. Close red showing an order imbalance. 
There's your close red. You'd open up the position on the next bar. Stop loss is two ticks above the swing high. You scale on the first push, and you try to let the runner run and use your symmetry dots to scale or the next market profile. So that is complete alignment. This trade on gold, this last trade we just had, that's exactly what you want to look for. The arrows that I try to avoid or I try to be careful with is that if I'm, if, if I'm cranking way below, if I'm cranking way below on the three sim, my magenta MA. Or if I'm, the, if I'm in the middle of a trend over here on the five sim. I like, I like it when it's below or testing right on the 20. I like when it's testing right on the magenta. Because that's telling me I'm at a full retracement. Those are your sweet spot trades where you're going to see some big trades. In fact, the three sim, you should really get used to just trading off the magenta MA on a full retracement on many, many markets. Gerald, go over to crew. We'll shut this off. If you look at crude oil, if you look, we had a full retracement here this morning on the arrows, full retracement. But look how my, my five and three sim aligned again. There's my five. There's my three. You can see the alignment we had. There's my three over here. That is good alignment. So that's what you want to see. You want to see the line. As long as they fire together, you're good to go. And that was resistance on price profile.